Welcome back, my friends. Well more bad news about layoffs is hitting the technology business. Today, Digital Bank Chime reported that it is cutting 12% of its employee base. Chime is one of a category of technology companies that fall under the label of fintech. The term, fintech, is really just short for, financial technology. And this term describes a range of technology companies that are involved in banking and finance, but are based in the cloud. Typically, fintech companies do not have brick and mortar storefronts. Chime is one of the smaller fintech companies and the 12% layoff affects 160 employees. But it is still significant because it is really just one of scores of fintech companies that are still on venture capital. And, this is a dangerous position for a company to be in, financially speaking. That is because the company is losing money and has never been profitable. And investor sentiment has turned dramatically this year. Even venture capital firms are finally being realistic about the growth prospects of technology companies. Everyone knows that many venture-backed startups eventually fail to succeed. This can even happen after a venture-backed startup has gone public. But, the window for initial public offerings is effectively closed for unprofitable tech companies. So, unless a company has enough cash to survive until it eventually goes public, it will have to tap into a tougher capital market, sooner or later. And, the general feeling is that most of the fintech companies that are still not profitable will face that eventuality. Of course, some see this as a positive. It depends on your perspective, I suppose. This video continues our coverage of the wave of layoffs sweeping the United States. What does it mean for big tech companies? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. This headcount reduction is one of many that would help the company thrive regardless of market conditions, said Chime co-founder Chris Britt. Co-founder Ryan King and I are recalibrating marketing spend, Britt said in a memo to employees. We are decreasing the number of contractors, adjusting workspace needs and renegotiating vendor contractors, Britt continued in the memo. The changes will help but we also need to adjust the size of our organization as we increase our focus and forge our path to profitability," Britt also wrote in the memo. Chime successfully became one of the first neobanks to achieve EBITDA profitability. And, if you follow this channel, you already know that EBITDA stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization. It is basically an accounting term that means earnings before all of the bad stuff. So, it is not a true measure of profitability. But having positive EBITDA is better than not having it. And it is seen as something of a milestone on the way to cash flow profitability. In the case of Chime, it achieved that milestone of $14.5 billion two years ago. In its most recent financing, its public valuation was $25 billion. I would say that is a pretty high number, considering the current financing environment. So far, Chime has raised a total of $2.3 billion in venture capital since it was founded in 2012. As you might imagine, co-founder Britt added that the company is well capitalized, whatever that means. Financial market uncertainty was a factor in these changes, said Britt. As we look at current market dynamics, we are adjusting our organization to be fully aligned with our company priorities, said a spokesperson for Chime. As a result, we are eliminating some positions, while still hiring to select others, the spokesperson continued. No details regarding financial terms of the layoffs were released by the company. C-level executives and salaries will probably be affected. But, again, no details were released. Nor was any projection regarding when Chime might be able to generate a profit. Chime has paused its plans for an initial public offering. That might suggest that financial trends may have changed. In fact, the window for initial public offerings for unprofitable tech unicorns is closed. Other fintech startups that are venture-backed tech unicorns are basically in the same boat. Another fintech venture-backed tech unicorn is Brex which cut 11% of its employees last week. This after being valued at $12.3 billion earlier in 2022. I think that it is fair to say that Brex is not worth that amount now. Of course, every CEO is blaming the typical whipping boy, the challenging macroeconomic environment. According to reports, the cadence of tech layoffs is moderating. We will see about that. Supposedly. 70% of tech layoffs occurred during May, June, July and August. So far, that is. 
Some economists claim that workforce cuts have decreased. September had half the number of layoff announcements compared August. In October, new layoff announcements also slowed. People impacted creeped up in September as compared to August. November is off to a rocky start, considering layoffs at Chime and other fintech companies. Real estate company Opendoor cut 18% just today. By now, almost every major tech company has stopped, slowed, or reversed headcount growth. These days, only essential hires are made. And, if you follow this channel, you probably already know that tech companies are sensing weak macroeconomic conditions. It is fair to say that Q2 earnings were weak or weakening in most companies, aside from oil companies. If you follow this channel, you already know the economic narrative of these days. Inflation is raging in most parts of the world. Central banks are aggressively raising interest rates in order to tame inflation. Consumers' budgets are getting tighter because of having to spend more on gas and food. So, consumer discretionary spending is weakening. Corporate marketers are cutting their ad budgets, especially online. And ad revenue is the lifeblood of many big tech companies. You probably all remember from the round of Q2 earnings announcements a few months ago. Google and Meta platforms reported decidedly disappointing Q2 and Q3 earnings. Meta has posted shrinking revenue for two quarters and maybe a third quarter as well. Both companies have hinted at layoffs, but not actually made detailed announcements. Meta has begun quietly pushing out a significant number of employees. Analysts expect these reductions to be a precursor to deeper cuts. Meta is trying to cut costs by at least 15% by the end of the year. Meta has about 83,000 employees, which is 32% higher than at this time last year. Google has 174,000 employees, which is 20% higher than this time last year. Shares in Meta platforms are down by over 50% so far this year. And the market capitalization of Meta has fallen by over $685 billion since its all-time peak in September 2021. The market capitalization of Google is down 27% over the past 122 months. Speaking at the Vox Code Conference, Google CEO Sundar Pichai said that Google needs to be 20% more productive. Snap has publicly announced layoffs of 20% of its employees. This comes after Snap grew its headcount by 65% within the past year and a half. Google, Meta, and Snap are probably the most notable of the companies reducing headcount. This year, it is clear that Wall Street analysts are valuing profitability over prospective growth. As a result, unprofitable tech companies' shares are getting punished. It seems that the day of reckoning for tech unicorns has arrived. And all companies are forced to either be profitable, find a merge partner, or die. The window for initial public offerings is effectively closed. That is why some Wall Street investment bankers are predicting a wave of tech mergers later this year. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.